Okay, we're going to load a bulk bag into the bulk bag unloading machine. We first have to run the adapter out with the trolley down, and we'll attach the uh, lift loops of the bag into the uh, labyrinth hooks on the bulk bag lifting adapter. So, run the device out, Robert. Now we're going to wind the lift loops into the labyrinth holders and put it in there. The idea is that the lift loop cannot pop out now. So put all four lift loops into the uh, into their uh, place. Now we'll lift the bag with the hoist and then run it in. So let's say, normally you would never stand under a bag, but I, this one's empty and I want to show you the two ties that are on the bottom of a bag. The first thing that needs to be untied when we get it in there is the pedal closure, which I'm untying here. Notice it has pedals like a flower. That's why they call it the pedal closure. And that exposes the discharge spout of the bag. When we get that inside, we're going to close the iris valve right here and then actually untie the bag. Now I just want to show that outside of the uh, machine so that you can see what you're doing. You never stand under a full bag like I'm doing here. This one isn't full. I'm not Superman here, believe me. So go ahead and run that in, Robert. Let raise it a little more. Now we're going to lower the bag until nearly all the weight is on the bag receiver. Be sure when you lower the bag that the discharge spout is centered on the hole so you can reach up and get it. So now the pedal closure is already untied as, as I did before the bag opened. I'm now grabbing that knot with the discharge spout and pulling it down and you can just barely see it here. Now I'm going to close the iris valve on that. So now the iris valve is completely closed, nothing can come through here. And now I know you can't see it, but I'm untying the spout of the uh, Super sack. I got to loosen this just a little bit. Put my hand back on it. And I'm going to close it back up. So there, I got the knot completely untied. Close the access box door. Now I can open the iris valve, and there's no way I can get any material in my face. Now obviously the bag is empty, there's no real material, and there'll be a rubber boot here sealing this up. When you start the gyrator, the material will begin to flow.